Now, each and every week on Tuesday, many of you, you know that we get to see the NAV insurance registration from some of our favorite EV stocks like NIO. And I sit on the screen, ladies and gents, NIO for the period which started last week, Monday until Saturday, they saw total NAV insurance registrations of around 2,900. And I must say, yeah, it is quite sad. It is quite disappointing. I mean, one of the things that, of course, as investors or as a retail investor, personally, I expected or I thought... The days where we see neo delivering below um, uh, three thousand or four thousand rather are uh, over, especially looking at the kind of a season we are in. This is a season where we usually see, of course, deliveries uh, tending to improve. I know that these nerve insurance registrations don't portray actual deliveries, but they sort of like give us the guidance on the kind of deliveries we are to expect from some of our favorite EV stocks. Uh, like neo so the 2100 ladies and gents now put neo to have total registrations uh, from the 1st to the 12th of november of around 5700 now as i'm saying it is quite sad but nonetheless one of the things that i think going forward we should adjust our mind to is that uh, probably neo the highest that they can uh, deliver uh, it's around 20,000 those things of us thinking that Neo could get or there might be a month that Neo will get to 30,000 deliveries um, On a monthly basis. It is not going to happen anytime soon based on these Numbers that we are getting from the NAV insurance registration. I think this is just proof to say that probably 20,000 it is now the the, the highest that Neo could, can deliver on a month to month which is something that of course as an investor, like I said, we need to adjust our minds to that, which personally I think 20,000, it is still good, though probably we wanted 30,000. I think one of the things that we are seeing, even going to 2024, is that for the NEO brand, the NEO targets to deliver roughly around 20,000 monthly deliveries because from the target that they gave to their supply chain, last week that is what we saw we saw neo projecting 230,000 vehicles for the neo brand which is something that of course gives us or shows us that on an average neo is planning to deliver vehicles of around 20,000 on a month to month which is something that of course even justifies or makes me to come into uh, piece to say that the most that neo can deliver on a monthly basis is 20,000 deliveries so you, now you will know that of course those uh, projections that neo gave to their supply chains exclude uh, or excludes the of course deliveries from their sub brand alps which they are starting to sell next to next year in the second half of 2024 so this is something that of course we are yet to see the total deliveries that neo plans to deliver for 2024 but nonetheless we know that for neo they are targeting around 230,000 deliveries so this 2,100, once again, that it looks like there is sort of like a struggle in terms of deliveries. I think we have to admit that, but probably it's the fierce competition that right now it's in China because China, you will know that it's not only Neo selling the EV cars or electric vehicles. There are so many uh, companies that are launching and selling electric vehicles in China. And therefore, that means that, of course, competition will be a bit tough because neo is a premium electric vehicle or they sell premium electric vehicles which are quite pricey and looking at the fact that most of the companies in china that are going into this ev industry or diving into this ev industry they are uh, launching and producing cheap evs it simply means that uh, competition of course it is it it will tend to be a bit more because those cars that these companies are are producing and delivering they are targeting the mass market whereas on the other side uh, neo vehicles they target middle to upper or middle upper class which is something that of course we need to have in mind so yes the 2100 it is the vehicles that we saw neo coming with for the week ending on the 12th of november leo also of course ten thousand but with leo you will know that yes it's hybrid or they sell hybrid cars but i think we need to really give them credit for the kind of sales that they are generating i know uh, they are not in the same segment uh, or probably they are not selling a full ev cars but they are doing pretty good in terms of sales and i think credit should 
definitely be given to Lioro. I think they are doing a pretty good job. Another EV, though they are not selling premium EVs, it's expanding. What we are seeing, of course, uh, their deliveries improving. This is another EV that I personally think that it should be given credit because it looks like their deliveries are improving. But with Neo, yes, the 2900, I suppose it's it's very low from what we expected and i think we need to adjust our minds even now in november uh, to say that neo can deliver somewhere between 15 to 20 000 deliveries that is the target because from the first to the 12th neo has 5.7 last week of the month we usually see deliveries becoming more it means that we can therefore uh, anticipate deliveries for november coming from neo of between 15 and 20 thousand that is what we need to project the new deliveries to be but to get the exact numbers that neo expects to deliver i think more clarity will come from the neo's q3 earnings report which they are expected to release it soon there they will give us the guidance of the kind of deliveries they expect to deliver for q4 which is something that of course it will be so good because we will get the rough estimate or the rough figure that Neo expects to deliver for the month of November and December, which will be pretty good as we already know the deliveries that Neo delivered for the month of October, and those are there over 16,000 deliveries. So, yeah, the Q3 earnings report will give us clarity on exactly the kind of deliveries we are to expect from Neo both in November and December which i think suppose now it is the most important thing or that is the most important uh, report that so many of the new investors will be closely monitoring to not only check if the of course financials uh, have improved but also checking as to how many deliveries is neo going to deliver for the rest of the year otherwise with all that guys you already know that this video was just an entertainment video not a professional financial advice video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the likes button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you buy new for the very first time it is always good wise for you to do your own due diligence so that at least you don't get to panic sell when you see sharp falls sharp drops from this stock because this is a stock that can that is quite volatile meaning that ladies and gents the one day it can be up five percent the next day it can be down ten eight percent which of course looking at the future prospects personally i'm still bullish remain long and strong but the short term i must say it's not as or it's not looking as so many investors including myself expected but nonetheless the future i i still remain bullish long and strong on the new stock otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all